On today's podcast, we talked all about modifications. So I wanted to give you a visual to go along with some of the things that we talked about. If you've missed our podcast, you can find it, the Be Kind to Everyone podcast on Spotify, Apple, anywhere you stream podcasts. And that'll put some of this into better context for you. This is the board we use for wristbands. So we sell wristbands in packs of 25. Ben created this board so that she knows to cover up each of the little screws with a wristband. When she covers up each one, she knows that's the board of 25 is done. She puts them in her Ziploc bag and she moves on to the next one. But if we didn't do this board and just asked her to count out 25 and put them in a bag, she would struggle with losing track, getting sidetracked, and they would be very inaccurate. So this is just a great way to turn it, use her strengths to be able to then work independently. So that's what that one looks like. Here's an example of what we use for pencils. You can see I've marked it here with teal, yellow, orange, blue, red. We use this for Jordan. We also use it for some other kids that come in to learn job skills from her class. So not only do I write the word, but I write it in the color of the word as well. So that way, maybe if someone struggles to read the word, they can identify the color. Um, and so then it matches up. So we just put, she puts those in like this. She goes down the row. When she has all 25 filled, she knows usually we keep bags right there. They grab a bag put them all in there and they're done and they move to the next one. When we first started this, we used the same thing for pencils that we use for pens. But what we quickly noticed is they would roll all over, all over the board and it was very distracting, very hard for her to do. <clears throat> so that's why we switched to the box. But for ink pens, because they have the clip on them, um, they don't roll. So we just use a board and the way we made this board is it's just a literally a plastic lid. We photocopied our pins and then I just literally taped them onto this. But um, as you can see, she just matches them up. We usually have all the pins laying out. She matches them. And then when she gets the board filled, she knows that pack is complete. She puts them in a Ziploc bag and moves on to the next. Um, as you can see on this one, it's in color, but the pins are raised. So it's still, she can easily glance to see which one she's done, which one she hasn't. When I move on to show you all the decal kits, I'll show you why color versus black and white can be important for certain things. Um, but, so for example, that's what we did for this. When you look at the pencil box, we literally just got this at like a craft store, Hobby Lobby, Michael's, something like that. It didn't have quite enough things in it. So Ben just made um, um, this spot into two. So that way it would have 25 and the amount we needed. Um, so here, and there's Max sitting there watching me. Okay, we also sell decal kits. So we wanted Jordan to be able to package decal kits. We made this board and again, we just photocopied our decals and then I taped them onto literally a piece of cardboard. But this lets her match the decals to where they go and she knows when she's filled the board that she's done. These, you can see, are black and white. The reason these are black and white is they're flat. And so we started out with color, but it was so hard to visually glance at the board and figure out which ones had been done and which ones hadn't been done. So when we switch it to color, if she had forgot one, it's easy for her to visually scan the board and see that she forgot it. I'm gonna show you one in color that we did early on. Um, like, but look, when you put the decal on, you can't quickly see that this one's been done and these haven't been done. So it's just so much easier if you switch that to black and white. So anyway, these are examples of ones we've done. Everything we do is super cheap, easy, um, DIY, cardboard, plastic, container lids, just things we already have on hand, and photocopiers. But these types of things can make a huge difference in being able to work independently. So I hope these helped. On the podcast, we gave ideas for even using modifications for life skills, things at home, just important ways to get our kids, and I always say kids because Jordan will always be my kid, our kids 
living life as independently as possible. So I hope these ideas have helped. And if you would like more, make sure and listen to our podcast or follow along on social media at Summer Shirt Project.